Can you feel it, brothers? The anticipation of the unknown. Can you smell it, brothers? The fresh fragrance of accomplishment. Can you taste it, brothers? I'm talking about that sweet nectar of opportunity. Can you see it, brothers? See it, brothers. The work that still needs to be done. The Bible says that the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. Yet I look into the crowd on this day and see men who are ready, willing, and able to roll up their sleeves to go out in the harvest with intentions to sow seeds of greatness. So I ask, are you willing to be the few that labor to bring forth fruit for the betterment of mankind? Gentlemen, we all came to Morehouse to embark on a journey filled with expectation of being a part of a unique legacy. A legacy upheld by great men who have altered the course of history through their tireless efforts to improve the human condition. We have had the privilege to be immersed in a culture rich, filled with unyielding expectations. Throughout our time at dear old Mother Morehouse, we have cried together, we have laughed together, we have served together, we have lived together, studied together, and yes, we even party together. Turn up, turn up, turn up. But most importantly, I look at you in the eye and assert that we will change the world together. There have been many great men that have graduated from dear old Mother Morehouse. Needless to say, their accomplishments make it difficult to have any significant first. As I prepared this speech, it dawned on me that the current graduating class will be able to make claim to a distinctive first in the history of the college. This will be the first class to have the President of the United States of America give the commencement address. During my time at Morehouse, Dr. Franklin made a bold assertion that he wanted his men to be well-read, well-spoken, well-dressed, well-traveled, well-balanced, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Dr. Franklin's philosophy of the Renaissance man holds dear to my heart because I came to Morehouse looking to fill the void in my life. Prior to coming to Morehouse, I searched for role models in the mean streets of Los Angeles and only found models of malice. I searched for camaraderie and gangs and only found degradation and low self-esteem. I searched for peace at home and only found pain. It wasn't until I came to Morehouse that I found what I was searching for. I found purpose. I found responsibility. I found mentors. I found love. And most importantly, I found who I was predestined to be by God. You see, I stand here as a living testament of what Morehouse College is all about. Morehouse College is about transformative education. It's about uplift. It's about creativity. It's about leadership. It's about maximizing your potential and then being brave enough to test it. As we reflect on our time together, we must realize that the experience we receive within these gates have ultimately prepared us for what we will encounter beyond these gates. You see, beyond these gates, we will be met by naysayers that only Morehouse men can silence. Beyond these gates, we will be given opportunity that only Morehouse men can broker. Beyond these gates, we will be met with challenges that only Morehouse men can handle. Beyond these gates, there's a harvest and Morehouse men are the laborers that God has been waiting for. We must seize the day and live the words of Benjamin Elijah Mays. Life is just a minute, only 60 seconds in it. Didn't seek it, didn't choose it. But it's up to you to use it. You must suffer if you lose it, give an account if you abuse it. Just a tiny little minute, but eternity is in it. Brothers, today is our time. Today and forever will we be more house men.